Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on Slime Lands, we're gonna dump water all over Rebecca here. But she's a good sport, she's gonna let us. We're gonna show you using the MyOps trigger how to stop the water exactly where you want using the laser mode. We're gonna set up that laser as a trigger point, and then we're gonna show you how to use delay to get that water exactly where you want it on your face, to be able to control it completely. So let's get started and see what we can do. First off, let's take a look at how we set all this up. And secondly, let's look at how we set up our laser trigger. And last of all, we'll look at our lighting setup. And then we'll throw a lot of water and see what we got. You ready for that? I think so. All right, here we go. So here's our setup. Blue sky backdrop in the background. A little picket fence in the foreground. We took one from that we got from uh, Home Depot and we took two of them and put them together so there's more pickets in it. Look kind of cute. And then we put that on C-stands be in front of her. And then she's sitting on a stool on apple boxes in a small plastic kiddie pool. That's our setup. As we throw water and hit her, it's gonna drop into the pool, most of it. And we'll have this little fence in the foreground to just give us a little bit of reference point and a nice blue sky background on the back. So now let's take a look at how we set up our MyOps trigger. We've got a laser pointer. We're gonna put that in the back just out of the frame. So the laser casts a line just on the edge of the frame and hits the MyOps trigger on the top of our camera. We set the MyOps trigger in laser mode. We now aim the laser directly back at the trigger and you've got to get the RAM to show up. And once that shows up, then you know they're paired together and you've got your trip wire. But until that RAM shows up, it's not going to work. We had a Monfrotto clamp that we put on a small ball head. This held our laser, was easier to move that around, made it a lot easier to adjust. To keep our laser pointer on, we simply took a piece of tape, rolled it over and pushed it, and it's on. That now becomes our trigger point. As the water crosses that laser, it's going to set off the strobes. We're gonna turn all the lights off in the room, go on bulb mode, open up the camera, throw the water as it crosses the laser, fires a strobe, gives us our shot. Be really careful of the laser. Don't get it in your eye and don't get it into the sensor of your camera. It'll fry your camera sensor. There goes the sensor, so be very careful. So the trick is we've got to delay the trigger. As the water comes in and breaks the plane of the laser, it's going to go off immediately. First we set the delay at 10, then 20, then 40, then 90, then 130, then 160. You see the wire slowly creep into the frame and start to explode around her head as we let it creep into the frame. The reason we did this without just throwing the water and taking a picture is it allowed us to get the point where the water is just going to explode on her head and it's predictable. We can get a bunch of those where it's at that point where it just explodes off. We have the ability to control the point where the water is going to hit her head and gives us a nice look. And so it really gives us a lot of control we wouldn't get for just throwing the water and trying to grab it. So there's how we set up our MyOps trigger. The different delays is really what gave us the advantage. The laser point was our trip wire. It's a great way to use uh, the MyOps trigger. So let's take a look at our lighting breakdown here. The first light we set was really, it's a large beam beauty dish by uh, Dynalite. It's called the 430 wide beam beauty dish, pretty much. It's got a white cover on the front of the tube, so it's gonna give a bounce back into a heavy silver. It's got a specular silver, but it's still silver. I chose that because Rebecca's got beautiful skin, so she can take that highlight. It's gonna smooth out her face. It's gonna look gorgeous on her face. We did slide a flag underneath it to take some of the light off from the fence. So flag underneath gives us a nice highlight on her face, takes a little bit of the hot, hotness off from the white fence in front of her, but makes a beautiful light. There's our first light, that's our key light. Secondly, we got water splashing here. So we need to have a nice rim light from behind. So we set a Baja B4 on the left-hand side. It's gonna catch the water from behind her and it's gonna give us a nice rim light from behind. Last of all, we got a single light on our background. We got a B4 on our background, but we put a large piece of Roscoe diffusion on it I use a stick to kind of hold it up to be able to spread it out. And when that light hits that Roscoe diffusion, makes a large source, kind of climbs up the bottom of the background, gives us a nice glow from underneath. So there's our three lights. We've got a beauty dish up front. We've got a Baja B4 with just a reflector on the camera right side, gives us a nice rim. And then we've got a nice light on the background. So three heads. To trigger our stoves, we're going to use our pocket wizards. We've got a pocket wizard trigger plugged into the MyOps. When the MyOps trigger goes off, it's gonna fire our strobes. Each of them have a pocket wizard on them. I plug the Canon TC80N3 into the Mark III. I put the Mark III on bulb mode. Then when I hit the button on the TC80, it opens up the shutter. When I release the button, it closes the shutter. Last of all, on our Bajas, we set all of them on T mode. It's a mode of the Bajas, which is a short flash duration. 
I mean, the shutter speed will stop the water on some level, but it doesn't really stop the water. It's the flash that stops the water. The shorter the flash duration, the more it's going to freeze the water. So we went to T mode, we went to T2, which is one of the shortest flash durations. On some of the heads, we did a T3, but that's a very short flash duration. It gives us not very much power. As you go from T7, it's a lot of power, but a long flash duration. When you go to T1, it's a short flash duration, but not as much power. So you either get a short flash duration and not much power or a long, fla longer flash duration and more power. So you kind of have to balance that. We went to T2 and T3 on most of them. I think it was T2 on the ones on her face, T3 on the ones going to hit the uh, water from behind. And that really froze the water and gave us a great look. So that T mode made a huge difference. If we just gone regular strobe mode, the flash is going to just let everything blur and it's not going to look near as nice. And we wanted to have that crisp kind of frozen water in the air and that look as it splashes on the side of her face. So that's why I went into the T mode. Most of the new strobes these days have that mode. So if you look at them, look for a strobe if you're buying something that has the ability to shorten the flash duration. The flash duration goes up and then there's a long burn off on most strobes. These are, have a capacitor where it goes up and as it starts to come down, it clips it and stops the flash duration. And those things are fabulous for trying to stop action. Great for any kind of action. That T mode is really worth looking into. This has been fun! I mean, why wouldn't it be? We got a short flash duration on our strobes. We got a MyOps trigger with a great laser that's been able to trigger our water every time it goes through. It's been fabulous. This is a great setup. That MyOps trigger really made it happen for us. So I learned a lot today. I learned a lot about strobes. I learned a lot about slowing the water down and giving us the time duration. So I find this very valuable. I hope you did too. So keep those cameras rolling. Keep on clicking. Hey, the month is not ended yet. You can still win a light blaster with a studio adapter and great gobos or one of three business coaching classes. Change your business. Go to thuslandlens.com. Sign up today. So all that's left to do is to take this water and throw it on Rebecca. Are you kidding me? <laughs> water is gonna be flying everywhere. We're watering the whole place. Keep those cameras rolling. Keep on clicking. <laughs>